Welcome back to another four-way uh, project. So you all know the, the drill, each month we switch and uh, this month is Sam's turn to propose a project and uh, his proposition was uh, bowl with embellishment. Uh, now there are not any more requirements apart from uh, make a bowl and embellish it the way we want. So uh what i have here for what i'm going for is eight by three uh walnut bowl it doesn't look now like much but i think there will be a nice discoloration in it and uh should look quite nice and uh for uh, embellishment uh, i'm going to show you what i have in mind i've never done it personally i've only seen it on youtube on four eyes furniture i believe the channel is but that's the only time I've seen anybody use that uh, in that uh, particular way. I'm just going to give you a hint. It involves crayons. So uh, first of all, we're going to finish the and shape and finish the outside of the bowl, and then we're going to switch it for the inside and for the embellishment. So uh, before I continue on, please don't forget after watching this video to go check out. Uh, Richard, Sam and Mike's version, there will be links down below in description, so as always I like to uh, put it in a chuck, just grab it by this foot, it is a uh, warp uh, foot, so it's not true, but it will be uh, quite okay for this application, just to put a groove inside where I can expand the jaws flip it around and have uh, all of the outside uh, exposed so that's the method I learned from Richard so square and scraper uh, I can go some around here so that will be enough and I can chew up the rim uh, this is ball gouge uh, half inch and that when I say half inch I mean diameter Okay, that should be enough. And now just expand the, the jaws into this uh, groove. Uh, this is half inch or 12 mil spindle gouge. Just throw up the, the foot, the bottom, put new tenon on, and just throw up the outside. Let's see the the figure or the discoloration. I think that will be quite nice. So you can see the the color. Okay, so a little bit more to come off, uh, but I'm going to just start uh, with the foot, and I can put it. I think this will be the right size. Just make it nice simple ball on the outside. Now I can go with the ball gouge. Okay, 
so that looks and feel like a good cut. Just see. Yeah, that's pretty nice. There is some hesitation marks here, so just checking if there are any splits or cracks. Okay, so uh, I'm going to finish the foot. Spindle gouge, just finish the foot. Now that maybe looks a little bit too tall, but I'm going to leave it for now. Just scrape this part here. Just want to uh, get rid of this little bump here. To leave uh, uh, like a straight sided uh, foot not the the round round one but I do like to make something of more decorative here Okay, let's just see how that worked. Okay. Everything is sandable. Okay, that all looks quite, quite lovely. Can't wait to put the oil on to see this discoloration pop. You can see it a bit better. Now, what I've actually done by accident, I think my calipers slightly moved. Um, the tenon is just barely enough to to close it it does want to spin slightly so what I can do is just put a little bit of piece of uh, towel like so one piece should be enough Check your calipers. Now I think I should buy those uh, with the nut on. So okay, now for the fun part and uh, 
and I'm also thinking about how to embellish it. So I, before I start to hollow, I just want to check where I am in terms of depth. So this is 63 mil, and I have. I can go probably seven, six, seven mil before uh, beneath this surface, and I'll be okay. So like to chew this up now just before I finish the the rim I'll chew up actually first this just for the design sake I'll undercut it see how is the surface okay everything is cut cleanly now before I start to take this part I'm going to I need to uh, just slightly reduce this and uh, make my cove a cove I have no idea if this is going to work <laughs> as I planned So I need to take a little bit more here. Something around here. I think that will be okay enough. Just to see if there are any nasty surprises. Everything looks nice. Okay, so here are the crayons, and I think that yeah, that should fit nicely. Um, I'm going to start to just peel the the this part here now i have to say these are uh, wax you have oil uh, crayons and uh, this kind of waxy which i think are more suitable for this although i'm not expert by any means Okay, now I've just carved away half of it, you can see. Okay, 
apply the tape and now I can continue with this thing okay now I'm putting the orange on now I don't have any like determined length or anything but I'm hoping as this melts I can blend these two so we will see how it goes Guess what? I changed my mind again about the color. But like I said, I don't know what I'm actually doing here. So, should be fun to see when I melt this. Like I said, I have a plan with the uh, hair dryer. I don't have uh, that heat gun. So, I hope the hair dryer will be sufficient. So, I have an extra package of crayons just in case if I need it. Well, now for the fun part. Okay, here it how it looks after melting. Now I thought I I even held the, the phone in my hand and I thought I had it on record but it was so hectic <laughs> with the blowtorch. Um yeah don't do it with the with the blowtorch. Uh use um, that heat gun because this is just too too hectic and flames and everything so uh, we'll see how this dry now I did have to prop the the chuck as you can see with old bowl and uh, I did have a spillage everywhere so now uh, here as well this was just a few minutes ago and it already solid so I'm expecting this to dry quite quickly now just to show you, as I didn't play, press the record for uh, the major pour, let's say like that, um, I put few, there is a little bit low spot here, because this is uneven, and uh, most of the crayons like dripped here, uh, and all of the colors, black and blue and white, mixed it all together, so I have a nice light color here which goes darker but I put few of the on this low spot few of the white and uh, let's see how that works Okay, let's see how will this turn out. I'll leave it to to dry and uh, I'll see you at the late soon. Okay, so the bowl is slightly still warm. Uh, I think this had had time enough to solidify, so seems at least solid now I have a drip two drips here and maybe a few spots uh, what I think I'll do after the when I finish the inside is just jam chuck it and uh, sand it and take away these knobs here on the outside which actually quite nicely adhere to wood so yeah let's hollow it out now you're probably wondering why not use just epoxy and I think probably it would be uh, easier in terms of not dealing with fire especially do not do with the torch inside the shop so 
or at least clean it so that's on you um, so but the other thing is nice with this kind of crayon thing uh, you can also mix colors like with epoxy but it's uh, dry to like maybe 10 minutes I mean dry and uh, it solidifies again so because of the heat the ball didn't actually uh, turn out of uh, true very much just slight wobble so that's nice I'll try uh, shear scraping with the gouge here and this edge Okay, it looks like it wants to hold um, like a de definition quite well, so just need to because this is slightly dipped in, so I need to address that. I gotta say, it's <laughs> quite interesting to turn crayons. This is not my style of bowls, but it looks like waves. Kind of interesting. It's a nice curve. Just see if I get rid of all of the stuff. Now I think this will sand away.
here. Now I'm going to pop it between the centers and just clean up this here. And now just the oil and we'll see what we did. And you can see how lovely the color on the walnut is. Just beautiful stuff. And this is up close. I'll try to show you how it looks. So it's, it's sort of like an ocean, you know. And you can see here deep blue, almost black, and sort of like small waves on the shore. Here it's much more pale. And here are just like uh, waves. Kind of like that. So that actually turned out much better than I anticipated. It's not soft, it's quite nice for now at least. I'll see how it behaves, but for definitely if it, this is going to be more utilitarian bowl, then put thin layer of epoxy, uh, make this um, inlay a little bit deeper let the crayon sit in and uh, melt it with a hot gun not with torch and uh, you should be able to fill uh, the rest of it with epoxy and that way will preserve the the crayons now i did another version 
after this one and uh, with more vibrant colors and I don't like it to be honest it's also on the walnut it's just too too busy too random and doesn't have any connection uh, this one is just simple and which is something that I like so don't forget to uh, check out Richard uh, Sam and Mike's version of Bold with Embellishment and uh, see you on the next month's project.